It's going to be a fabric haul. <laughs> this is try number 10, okay? We're doing it. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eugenia. I am an artist. If you're new here, welcome. If I'm overexposed, I'm sorry. This is very new to me, so... The sound quality is probably terrible and I'm sorry about that. Moving on. Hi, I am here to inspire you to do creative stuff. So if you are here to get some inspiration, this is the video for you. So I don't know about you, but I love making different things. I love sewing, I love creating. So one of the things that I am doing in my life is fashion. This is a little proof. <laughs> Do I look more legit? I hope I, I, I thought I would look more legit if I'm gonna show off all my fashion books collections in one shot, okay? But now that we got this out of the way, let's do a haul. So, in this video, I will be taking you to downtown LA. I'll show you a couple of the hidden treasures of a couple shops that I go to to get some fabric supplies. And those shops are incredibly affordable. You can buy yards and yards of fabric for very cheap. They also have trims and sewing supplies and zippers and threads. And I'm literally dizzy every time I go there. So I'll show you a little bit of that. And then we will do a haul. So cut to me going to downtown LA. these trims and laces look at that oh my gosh guys so these are one dollar each and they're looking so natural I am really liking them and um, probably gonna get some for the dress. I don't know. I usually don't like that stuff, but I, but I really like it. It's very pretty. So a dollar each. I'm probably gonna get like ten of them. This is like a dream come true store. Yeah, it, like it makes me so happy to be here, and it's very affordable. So yeah. Okay, let's continue looking. Maybe we'll find something else. But I don't even know what I'm looking for. But whatever inspires me i guess <laughs> look guys how much stuff and this is just trim this is just one department just one aisle i got these we'll see what i'm gonna do look at this beautiful lace oh my god so much stuff okay Let's go look at the other section. Guys, look, these are like Chanel-like buttons. This is button section, oh my gosh. Very Balmana Juicy Couture. Hi, this one, do you guys have? Exactly the same beautiful? Or, si or similar, but the same would be perfect. <laughs> no, we no. don't. This is like a Versace. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it is Versace. Oh my God, look. But maybe leopard in that kind of similar yellow tint. Do you have, or horses? <laughs> I have Versace, but not in, in mesh. Where's my coffee? Have you guys seen those books? Like, they're so cute. I got them as a Christmas gift for myself for um, Christmas. 
uh, and they were very in it, they were not too expensive I think they were $16 each but they look so beautiful okay I'm getting distracted anyway so you guys saw me going to downtown LA I need a cup of coffee one second don't leave okay I ran out of coffee of Nespresso coffee and I'm struggling a little bit I have two espresso machines one in my studio and one in my kitchen and I need a third one in case anything happened so I'm gonna move a pretty candle out of the way because it's a hazard because I'll be showing you fabrics so let me show you what I got let me show you what I got so the first thing that I got is this crazy glossy fabric I love it so much it gives me uh, it has no stretch mm, a little stretch but the problem with this fabric is that it's it breaks when you stretch it this hole starts very optimistic <laughs> this is the only bad thing that I got so maybe that should not be my first the first thing that I'm showing you anyway I fell for this color I fell in love it's beautiful it gives me it gave it gave me very Ariana Grande thank you next I don't think my uh, warm lights uh, justify the color but the color is beautiful and there's a girl here who uh, might be uh, showing you off some outfits if I don't run out of caffeine and actually film it so uh, She might have this thing on and I'll show you how it looks in a different light, but basically I was thinking to make like uh, Some bougie rope out of this. This is not for me to wear. I wish <laughs> that's um, for a consignment uh, or for my Etsy store so basically it's gonna be something to sell. It's for sale. It's, I'm not gonna be wearing that, but it's cute. But I just unfortunately, whenever you, I'll show you. Whenever you pull the fabric, it bubbles. It breaks. So that was not a good choice. And you know, you should be careful in downtown LA, obviously. But majority of fabrics that I buy are incredible quality. So very rarely that something like that happens here I'll show you so this is what's happening with the fabric you see whenever I pull on it it becomes like this crazy texture so imagine if someone would make pants out of this and they would sit and then right where they sit everything would be all you know kind of like bubbled and um, distorted. okay the good buy the good purchase was this uh, plaid I fell in love it gave me that's my Etsy I'm sorry that gave me it gave me very um, London fog Britishness vibes so this is kind of it's I think the guy said um, that's what people use for blankets because it's double-sided it's pretty much flannel um, it has a little it has um, it's a little bit stretchy but uh, only one way and um, so yeah I'm envisioning like a, a coat or something with a, a leather belt and a buckle and uh, you know you're drinking tea early in the morning on the yacht like those are those were the vibes I got four yards um, and they gave they always give me more that was actually four dollars a yard four dollars a yard and it gave me a discount so it's very it's very cutesy like I, I really like it it's very like classic and cozy and very fall vibes all right so I often go to downtown LA for something and then I end up buying totally other things so I actually went to to search for this fabric because there's a piece that I made a while ago that already um, someone bought it already uh, I sold it at Cosmo store uh, if you guys don't know you probably don't know I have a collaboration on Melrose I sell my outfits in two boutiques and um, it's for consignment sometimes it's a collab where we both design sometimes it's a consignment sometimes they buy stuff off me so it's basically depends anyway I made this dress I'll put it right here somewhere and um, it was beautiful and they it got sold on Melrose so I posted it on Etsy and someone bought it recently on Etsy and I ran to get more fabric but this is not enough for the whole outfit and they didn't have anything it's very Roberta Cavalli vibes it's mesh 
It's a mesh fabric, so it has horses and leopard, and it's four-way stretch, and you can do crazy things with it, and um, I was going to use it for the outfit, but unfortunately, not enough. I will have it for maybe, it's enough for a couple or even three tops. Um, but, and uh, there's a tutorial going to be coming your way of how I made this bra. I'll show it here. Anyway, so this is just something that I bought, that I went to find. But instead, I bought all other things. This haul, I went heavy on trims. I ran out of few and I just couldn't, I just couldn't pass on a very good deal. So let me show you what I got. So, the first thing I got a lot. I don't know how many yards. They always give me more. They're so sweet. Um, so basically, this very um, anthropology, very Aztec, very, um, I would say, folk, uh, Spanish folk, um, Indian folk vibe, anything folk. I think this, this actually has tiny little mirrors, but they're not real mirrors. This is just like a uh, plastic you know um it's, it's really super lightweight you probably can wash it and i just fell in love it's such a cute thing it was a dollar a yard and i think you know they always give me more so i think it even came down to like 70 cents a yard and like this is los angeles where rent is super expensive everything is super expensive so this is very cheap maybe like somewhere else fabrics are cheaper but it's way cheaper than it is in johan's i never go to johan's unless I really need to, but this is, I was just thinking to make something like, you know, um, Boro technique. I'll try to find pictures of Boro technique. So basically it's a bunch of pieces of fabric that you age and then you stitch by hand. So I was, so I was thinking maybe, maybe I can take a hoodie and I can age it with bleach or whatever, or some sandpaper or do something to it. And then I will do some Boro uh, stitches on top. And then here and there I'll insert these pieces. So it's going to look very like a glam homeless. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's kind of the vibe that I um, am going for. So the next thing I got was this uh, elastic golden elastic so let me show you the golden elastic so um it's black on the other side my battery is dying anyway so this one is uh, the one that i usually use it's very good for finishing stuff like uh, if i were to make a skirt i would attach a skirt to this like or i can use it in the, in the for the top there here's an outfit that i made um that i use this elastic it's good for great for finishing so i ran out and i got the whole thing and the whole thing was like ten dollars so i don't even know how many yards here probably like 30 or 20. so very happy with this this is again the texture if the camera didn't catch before the battery died and um super elastic -y. thick elastic okay so these guys i got um so this one this is another elastic that i got that is good to be used like on jackets like for instance you know to finish uh, a cuff here or um use it at the bottom of the jacket on the waist um so it's i like this one it's sporty just something that i always need around in my studio okay so another thing that i got was this um elastic um, it's not a bias tape really, but it's a bias tape-ish. Uh, it's made out of jersey. I don't know the name of this, but I'm sure I will be using it to finish stuff. So I usually use bias tape and sometimes it's like it's glossy on one side, it's matte on the other side. Sometimes it's not what I need, sometimes it's too thin. But this one I can totally utilize for something. Let me give you um, a little close-up. This is like a showing off my ring <laughs> so this is like the jersey um, bias these guys so you guys saw me picking this up at the store and i usually don't like applique uh, because it looks cheesy in my opinion but this one i fell in love like first of all it's not stiff you know how usually um the applique has like the backing that you can glue stuff on with the iron like it has the other side that is like adhesive side this one doesn't it's very fluid it's beautiful it's looking organic in my opinion it just gave me all gucci vibes and i feel like if you were to um first decorate the bustier with that like you can just 
you know, place it everywhere and just leave it hanging and it's just beautiful. So it was a dollar each, but they gave me a discount. So I think it was really like 70 cents. That's my dog. I'm sorry. 70 cents uh, each or, you know, it's just beautiful. Like I, I'm regretting not getting more because it's just, it's beautiful. So I don't know what I'm going to be using it for but definitely thinking to decorate black bust bustier which is like it's super easy once you for instance like an easy outfit idea for you guys um and that's what i usually do i buy pre-made bustier like these ones i'll show a picture right here and then i will just hand stitch um something like rhinestones or some lace or, or some fabric like in this example um that would just make it look very custom and handmade but in reality the base is already done for you so like why would i spend hours making a corset if someone already made a corset um if i'm going to be selling it at a reasonable price you know for instance if i'm selling a piece at 150 dollars and it took me two weeks to make then it's not worth it obviously for me but it take if it took me a day to make sure it's like okay right okay let's see Okay, okay, I'm excited about this one. So, this is uh, your typical sequin uh, situation. I usually run away from these because they're overused. So, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys noticed that, but whenever something is overused, it kind of tends to look cheesy. Like, if people do certain, if everyone's doing the same thing a lot in fashion, it's like, trendy and then it's tacky so i'm sorry this is just my opinion so anyway i usually run away from any trim that is on elastic and covered with sequin i hope i'm saying the word sequin right but this one is different because this one is this beautiful matte uh finish it's not your typical sequin that is all glittery and it looks like a, um it reminded me of tires i don't know why but it gave me very it's like snake and and tire car, car tires i know like why right but basically reminding me of that and it's very industrial and they're they're matte and it, 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 you know, i'll try to give you a better close-up but basically they're like a little bit scratched even so i feel like it's just going to be perfect for some something like you know um some post-apocalyptical here runs the helicopter um, moment uh, in fashion. That's what I'm thinking. I f I fell in love with this. I got very few yards, but the guy gave me a very good deal. It gives me a snake vibe. I don't know. It's just it's just there's just something about that that is beautiful and not cheesy. And I snatched it, and I'm happy I did. Well, I'm definitely not going in order, but this is matching my tear. I've been in love with this terracotta color. For a couple years now anyway this is silk this is pure silk i did the uh, the light uh, test and it smelled like human hair so that's good <laughs> i burned it so anyway um guess how much it was one dollar for over a yard of natural silk we don't know what's gonna happen with this but it's beautiful and i just i'm obsessed it drapes perfectly I have no idea what I'm gonna make out of this. Maybe like a cute little uh, dress for sale again. A cute little dress with lace. Maybe um, some kimono with lace. I don't know yet. I am just, when I saw silk for a dollar, I just couldn't resist and I bought it. That I got was this um, trim. So it was very affordable as well. I think the whole thing, I think it's like 50 yards here, something crazy. He gave it to me for $20. I couldn't believe. So this one, I'll show you. So yeah, um, I will show you guys a better close up, but basically they used um, a cover lock stitch. You can see that there's a overlock and then right here is a stitch. So it's a cover, cover lock that they used. And I think inside of this, there is an elastic, yeah. Anyway, so basically, so this was jersey that was, uh, that is wrapped around elastic. So it's black jersey wrapped around elastic and it's finished with um, the cover lock. So it basically wraps and then there's a stitch in the middle. So I thought instantly of making 
straps out of this um, just designing it on the form I'll probably gonna demonstrate a little bit here yeah so I fell in love and it was very affordable I think I, for the whole thing here I spent $50 for all the supplies which is sweet uh, it was not expensive at all Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was in some way inspirational for you. If you like my channel, if you like my content, if you like me, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Join the club of 109 subscribers that I have. Let's prove algorithm wrong and let's actually make it happen in 2022. Jesus. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. I hope I inspired you. And I'm going to clean this up and continue working on this one art piece that I've been postponing myself to do. So, I'll see you in my next one. Bye!